Today's video is for everyone who's been writing in to me, worrying that they used to make out with a really good friend who's the same sex as them, and does that make them gay? Or that even though now they're in a heterosexual relationship, they still use the memory of those makeout sessions for their masturbation, for their fantasies. So should they be questioning their sexual orientation? And almost every single message has ended with the same line, is there something wrong with me? So let me put this into perspective for you. According to the Kama Sutra in the chapter on oral sex, it says that men should pay their male servants to perform oral sex on them. See, in ancient India, there were a lot of restrictions on when a woman could or could not be asked to do this. But says the Kama Sutra, this is an extremely pleasurable act. Men should not have to do without it. And so the simplest solution was to pay your male servants to do this for you. And similarly, the ancient texts tell us that if a woman was due to meet her lover in the evening, her female friends and her maids would spend the day preparing her for her arousal. See, a woman's arousal can take a long time and so her female friends and her maids would just get her started on it. And the reason I'm telling you all this is because I want you to understand that a sexual act or even sexual arousal does not define your sexual orientation. You know, most of us start our sexual exploration journey with a good friend, a close friend that you feel safe with. And generally, this close friend is the same sex as you. And if you're doing this out of mutual desire, it generally ends up being a very pleasurable experience. And so it is completely natural that you'd hold on to that memory. So just relax. Your memories of pleasure or even the fantasies that you use for pleasure do not define your sexual orientation. You know, I always think that if we could just take the guilt out of feeling pleasure, half the stresses in our brain would be gone.